everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandra and thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is the first of a four part series, Motivation Without the Madness. Part of today's video is inspired by one of my coaches. If you're interested in more information, I will leave a link in the description box. A lot of my motivation comes when I'm in a really good mood and I'm in a great headspace and I'm ready to just go get it and do all the things. And that's one time where burnout is actually a bigger risk for me than if I'm not feeling so good. I tend to push myself and try to get more stuff done because I know I'm feeling great, but I'm not taking into account the way the higher the peak, the higher the valley. So these are some things that I try to remind myself of when I am in a great headspace so that I can keep the momentum going. This is super basic and it seems really obvious, but sometimes I forget the basic healthy habits to make sure that I am getting enough rest, eating, sleeping, taking breaks, and all those kinds of things. So the biggest part of this is remembering that it is good, even when you feel really good, to stop for a minute and take a break. Maybe it's spending time with your family, maybe it's having some quiet personal time. It doesn't really matter, but just as long as you still set appropriate boundaries for you to work, then you won't burn out as fast, even though it feels good in the moment. The repetitiveness and the amount of time that you spend working on a project can really start to get to you even before you know it. And then before you know, you realize you're in a valley again and you've lost all your momentum. So the first thing is taking breaks. The second thing is getting lots of sleep, getting plenty of rest. Creativity comes from a place of being abundant and being full and being healthy. It's not just about how much can I get done or the starving artist vibe. I know I've made another video talking about that and how mental health is so important when you're writing and not to overdo it, not to overextend yourself. And I make this video because I am the queen of overextension. If I can pick up more stuff, if I get inspired, I get shiny object syndrome, I'll start working on another project, I'll start writing another book, I'll start doing this, I'll start doing that. It's important to keep time for yourself. So even if you're like, well, I'm taking a break from that project, are you taking a break or are you just taking a break from a project? Because they're very different. And it's I'm not saying it's bad to work on more than one project at the same time. It's just to be very aware of how much time you can spend working on stuff. And that includes all your other obligations before you start to neglect yourself and your personal well-being. So that can look like I've been working all day and I worked on my project in the evening and now I've been wanting to watch my favorite TV show and I don't have time because I need to get sleep. So if that looks like cutting back an extra hour, an extra 30 minutes so that you have time to watch your show, do something that's important to you, read a few chapters, whatever the case may be, and then still get your full amount of sleep that you need, then do that. But just remember that this is part of your creative process and just because you're resting doesn't mean it's not productive. The next thing would be nutrition. Make sure that you're eating, make sure that you're getting all of the nutrients that you need. It's really hard to keep your energy levels up if you're hungry and your brain starts to get really fatigued. And you might find yourself doing the same work over and over again or reading the same paragraph over and over again, doing repetitive things that aren't actually productive. At that point, take the time for yourself. Make sure that you have the opportunity to eat something good, healthy, Sometimes just a hot meal will make all the difference in the world and it may only take you 15 minutes to eat, but if you don't read the same page over and over again, those 15 minutes can be huge and really impactful. The next thing is hydration. This affects everything, skin, vision, all of that good stuff. So if you find that your eyes are getting really tired, you're doing a lot of very visual work sometimes, Getting some water, listening to an audiobook, listening to some music, close your eyes for a minute, take a breather and, and hydrate. That's all going to come into play when you think about your full holistic self-care. I did also mention taking time for yourself, but I want to add a separate point as far as meditation. 
because I think having quiet in your mind is so important to give yourself space to create. If you've always got a lot of mental noise going on, it's really difficult to allow new ideas to form or to really mentally play because you've assigned your brain something to do the whole day. And by the time you go to bed, you're exhausted. So it makes it really difficult to let new things form or play with an idea. Sometimes it's, I like to, instead of working on a project, have my project in mind and put on like some of my favorite music and just leave it sitting there on a shelf as it were to marinate and to come up with some new ideas. And even falling asleep like that can be really great for inspiration. Sometimes I'll have dreams about what I'm working on and that can be great. But there's also the other side of not having anything on your mind, not having projects or work or anything like that on your mind and finding ways to step away from it. Maybe it's taking a walk and just enjoying nature and sunshine or playing with your pet and setting aside your obligations so that you can really allow things to evolve more naturally and not have such an intense focus on what you've been working on so that something new can come out of it. Because sometimes when I'm looking at a specific idea, I have such an intense focus on it that I can't see the forest for the trees. It just becomes absorbed in everything else. And if I have the opportunity to step back, come back to it later, I'm like, oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't even notice this. I didn't even realize that I had already set it up for something totally different. And it can be really helpful. Even if I realize, oh, I was headed in a diff direction that I didn't want to go, having that space and that step back can be really helpful. So these are my top tips for taking some time for yourself to make sure that you don't overdo it when you are in a peak and you're like doing great to make sure that you can sustain that for longer and get more productivity out of it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.